Shalom, first and foremost, all praises, honor, glory, and respect due to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rechachwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the few sisters that listen and learn, to you, Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone, Chicago. And uh, I want to hop into a lesson going into um, what's to come in the, the, the very near future. All right. And it's called the famine of the word. All right, which we're going to pull up. All right, let me see. Let me pull it up in here. All right. In the book of Amos 8 and 11, it says, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water. But of hearing the words of Yahweh. All right, so what's being said here is okay, he's not gonna send a famine of what you would think of food and water, okay, which that's going to happen, all right, because a the scriptures talk about how uh, somebody, uh, there a man's gonna be pretty much uh, snatching on his, his arm, eating his arm up. You know, but the scriptures say that the, um, you know, his servants shall eat, you know, so the Lord's going to uh, look out for his servants or everybody out, else out here is going to be, you know, starving from a famine. All right. But it's this is going to be a famine of hearing this word because what's going on. All right. You have a lot of words. Okay. In the algorithm of the tube, all right, that if you say certain words, they just delete your channel, terminate your channel, give you uh, strikes, etc. Okay, one of those um, words is uh, the, the germ that came out, all right. Uh, earlier, it's uh, 2020 ish, late 2019. You know, the germ, you can't even say that. They'll delete your channel. You can't say, um, you know, the uh, the medicine, all right, you know, um, or the uh, the um, concoction they whipped up to combat that germ. You can't say that word. Now it's what you can't say the uh, M-A-R-K of the you know who, all right? Because what they're they're starting to flag your channel, shut your channel down. So it's gonna come a point in time where we're not even gonna and through the spirit, you know, I was meditating. We're not gonna even be able to say Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shai, all right? We're not gonna be able to say Yahweh the Heavenly Father's name or His Son's name Yahweh Shai. We found that your video entitled is um, hate speech. You know, they're going to hit us with all of that. All right. It says uh, verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it. So what's being said is, all right, the ones who... Uh, forsook this truth while it was readily available you know they seen the videos on uh, the tube all right or they have might have uh, walked across the camp and seen you know Israelite camp teach but they didn't take heed all right it's gonna come a time where they're gonna be like damn hey man them dudes was they they said something about something and uh we got to go out there and find them that's why they're gonna be wandering from sea to sea, from the north to the east, trying to find the word, all right, of the Lord, but they're not going to find it. Why? Because, 
All right. Um, let me see. I think it's in Amos five. Let me see. Uh, yep. Amos five and thirteen. Now this is the brother Chapatza uh, over here put me on to this one years ago. It says, therefore, the, uh, Amos 5 and 13, therefore, the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. So it's going to be like it says, Jacob's trouble. It's going to be like a time like no other. Ever since there was a um, a nation, you know, roughly paraphrasing. What is that? Uh, Daniel. It's, I kind of mixed up two scriptures. No, it's Daniel's 12. All right, because all hell's going to be breaking loose. Daniel is 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that should be found written in the book. All right, so, you know, the prudent ain't going to be out there. But the men of the Lord ain't going to be out there prophesying in the streets when martial law is going down all right when there's these riots and um insurrections etc going on all right a hey, um um even in ezekiel said that he was going to make his tongue cleave to the roof of his mouth pretty much and not make him a reprover ah so lucky yeah. All right, it's gonna it's gonna be like that, and then the ones who are gonna want to oh oh now I want to see God, I want to see God now, you know, it's, it's gonna be too late. Let me see. I think there's something I want in Samuel. Let me see. First Samuel, it might be the um. Let me see something right quick. Uh huh. It's same. Okay. Three and one. All right. So we're going to go to First Samuel three and one. It says, uh, and the child Samuel ministered unto Yahweh before Eli, and the word of Yahweh was precious in those days. There was no open vision. So during this time, you know, there was no, uh, you know, open vision. You know, there wasn't a prophet because, you know, Samuel was a child and he was being raised up, you know, uh, uh, through, um, by Eli, you know, the, the high priest at the time. And, uh, you know, there was there was the word of the Lord wasn't out there because you had the what did the prophets do? You know, the prophets, uh, like it says in Luke, the first chapter, uh, as he sp spake by the mouth of his prophet since the world began. So the heavenly father speaks to his people through his prophets. And at this at this time, hey, the, hearing the word of the Yahweh was precious. It was like, wait, wait, ooh, Yahweh said something. What he say? What he say? All right, and it's gonna go back to that. It's gonna go back to where the famine of the word is gonna kick in. You ain't gonna be able to watch uh, videos no more. Get edification. All right, and and then just hearing a breakdown is gonna be precious. All right, and and it's all this is all coming real soon in the near future. All right, because they're getting ready to shut this uh, um, this word globally. All right. Let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get that. Um, I think it's in Ezekiel 25. It's Ezekiel. Oh, Ezekiel 12 and 20. Yup, yup. Okay. Um, let me open it over here. This is Ezekiel 12 and 
Uh, I'll start at 21. It says, And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is this proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, the days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Because that's what's going on right now. You got Jake, which Jake um, is referring to you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The children of Jacob, all right, the Israelites, okay? D you guys have that spirit, all right? And, and it, it's funny, a dude a couple of years ago when we were teaching, you know, he was like... Uh, Man, y'all been saying that for the past hundred years. My grandma been saying Jesus going to return, this and that. And then he pointed to his watch and he was tapping it like uh, he was tapping it pretty much saying like it ain't never going to happen. You know, he said that the time been going on, you know, he's all like. So it, th this is that proverb, you know, they, they uh, say what? Every vision faileth. That, that ain't going to happen, you know? And the visions are what? The prophecies that are going to come to pass. All right? That's what they think. Oh, no, nah, that ain't going to Not in this lifetime. Probably my grandchildren's grand, you know? But check this out. It says, 23, tell them, therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, Yahweh God, I will make this proverb to see. So y'all ain't going to be saying that shit no more. Y'all ain't going to be saying, man, my grandma been saying that. Y'all ain't going to be saying that no more. He's going to cause that proverb to cease. And they shall use it no more. Use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. So what's going to happen? Hey, we're at the end. All right. We're we're at the end of the end. We're seeing these prophecies rolling out. All right. So, so what? All these uh, prophecies, the effect of every vision, they're all going to be coming uh, to to pass. All right. And what's one of the uh, the visions is um, a that famine of the word. All right. The prophecy of a people trying to receive this word and trying to uh get understanding because of all hell breaking loose and they're going to be wanting answers from the men of the lord but it's going to be a famine out there you ain't going to get any answers i'm gonna close it out with this all right because this is what's going to happen this is uh proverbs 1 and 20 wisdom crieth without she uttereth her voice in the streets. And that's what the men of the Lord do week in, week out, day in, day out on these videos. All right. On uh, going out in the streets, wisdom is crying out. All right. And it says the streets. So, hey, you, you know, you got to go out there and teach. Or that's where you get the true understanding. Not in no fake uh, church. 21. She crieth in the chief place of concourse. In the opening of her gates in the city, she uttereth her word, saying, all right, so the, the, the word is going out, what? In the chief place of concourse, the most busiest places. That's why you see us in areas around downtown teaching where everybody's at. All right, 22. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicities and scorners delight in your scorning and fools hate knowledge? Uh, right, because they don't want to hear this word. They hate knowledge. They delight in their scornings, talking that shit. And they're simple. They're stupid. 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. So how is he correcting you? How is he pouring out his spirit? How is he making his words known unto you? Through the prophets, through the men of the Lord. All right, going out there teaching, doing these videos. Yahweh willing, I'm one of them. Yahweh willing, you're one of them. All right? Or hopeful uh, one-third, part of the elect. Uh, Proverbs 1 and 24. Because, let me see. Yep. Because I have called and you refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regardeth. So these is for, these is for the ones who, all right, the Lord's calling out to, but they don't want to hear it. He's stretching out his hand and they're not regarding. Okay. 
they're not taking this serious. Y'all a bunch of cult. Y'all a cult. <laughs> but ye shall, but ye have set at naught all my counsel, and and would none of my reproof, right? Cause, cause, uh, um, you know, we let them know how to get right with the Lord. That's what at the end of the day, how do you get right with the Lord? What Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? You got to do what's commanded of us as children of. Yahweh, all right. He commanded us to follow him, keep his ways, worship him, and our people don't want to um, take that comp that counsel or that correction. All right. It says twenty one. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then they shall call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Right. So when all hell breaking loose, when you getting jacked up, you want answers. Then you're going to be calling on God. Then you're going to be wanting to get answers. All right. But you ain't going to get no reply back. All right. It says uh, 29 for that they hated knowledge. And did not choose the fear of Yahweh and the fear of Yahweh when you jump up. So let me see, what's that? Seven, all right. It says the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So they didn't choose to fear Yahweh, which that's the beginning of your knowledge, your wisdom and understanding. And they're gonna want to do it when it's too late. All right, and this is all coming in the near future, the famine of the word. It's going to come a time where we ain't even be able to say Yahweh or Yahweh Shai is going to be. That's hate speech that violates our terms and conditions. All right, so, hey, while you while we can get this um, knowledge, wisdom and understanding. So, like it says in Isaiah, that shall be the stability of thy times. That's going to be your faith. That's what's going to keep you um Enduring until the end. All right, Yahweh willing, this was edifying. Till next time, Shalom.